Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, another prediction bit. I was on a roll until Batuev got robbed against Stan Jonas. I always pick the right winner, but unfortunately in boxing, it's still corrupt. And you'll eventually get a political decision, which, which was... What Stan Jonas got. But let's talk about Fury versus White. A fight the Ozmakers think is not a very competitive match on paper. Most likely will play out that way. Really depends on how Fury fights, how he approaches this. And that's the question. How is he going to approach this fight? Dylan White's a different man compared to Wilder. Different in size, different in style. He, uh, he's a better inside fighter. He, he would prefer if Fury uh, would step to him and, you know, give him a chance to land some big blows on the inside. It's going to be interesting to see if Fury is going to utilize more of a aggressive style, which he employed against Wilder, which he needed to. You have to fight Wilder that way. You step to him. I know it's counterintuitive. You step to a puncher. You do the same thing with Golovkin. You step to him. They, they don't fight well when they're getting backed up. Same thing with Wilder. Same thing with Golovkin. So, you know, you bully the bully. Or you bully the puncher. But in this case, maybe Fury has to employ a different style. Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe reverts to a more of a boxer style for the first half of the fight. Which is what I expect from Tyson in this fight. I would say Dylan's more physically stronger, he's a bigger guy, and he's better on the inside than Wilder. So Fury has to approach this fight a little differently. And I expect a Southpaw version of Tyson in this fight. A Southpaw boxing version. And then he closes in on the kill later on in the second half. This fight is a little tricky to bet because of the odds. I mean, you're practically getting no value. At all when it comes to Tyson. He's as high as a 5 to 1, 6 to 1 favorite. So you really can't make any money betting on Fury to simply win the fight. Unless you want to risk 500 bucks just to win 100, which it ain't worth it. So, how do you play this fight? It's kind of tricky, man. I mean, the odds on Tyson by decision are enticing, plus 220. But I don't expect this fight to go to decision. Tyson looks a little sharper, a little leaner. He's 10 pounds lighter than he was in the Deontay Wilder third fight. And in that fight, uh, Fury was less than 100%. You could tell by the way his body shape was. He was a little rusty, going through a lot personally. And he somehow managed to knock out a determined Wilder despite being less than 100%. He looked like he was around 65, 70% for that fight. And still got it done. Still overcame, conquered, and uh, overcame the adversity. You know, Tyson is, is just really tough to beat. He can be knocked out if you catch him right, but it's very hard to hit him. You got to go through a lot of frustration to hit him. He's so tall. He's so big. He's really a freak of nature. There's not, there's no way a guy can be this size, 6'9", and have that type of athletic ability, have that type of quickness, have that type of reflexes and footwork at his size, which is why he's the best in the division. He's the biggest guy and the most talented guy in the division. He's really something unusual. You don't see many, hardly any big man like this with this type of coordination this type of footwork, this type of speed and agility that Tyson brings to the table. So it makes him so goddamn unique. He's big, strong, athletic, and got heart, and got power. He's the most complete heavyweight in the world. And he's just, he's too good to get beat right now. Dylan White has a puncher's chance. That's it. So I really can't ride on Dylan White, even though the odds are good. They just, you know, they're, those are the odds for a reason. You know, sometimes the odds makers are completely right. 
And in this case, Dylan White only has a puncher's chance to win this fight. And that's just not enough for me to place my hard-earned money on. Because, you know, I'm logical when it comes to this most of the time. Unless I'm trying to bet on value and just trying to take a chance. But you have to be logical at times. And Tyson should win this fight. The question is, how does he win this fight? So let's look at the odds. Let's look at the odds. How do we play this fight? It's almost unbettable. The under? Hmm. I don't know, man. It's tricky. You know, it's not a bad bet. Both guys, you're practically betting on both guys to win by knockout. And under nine and a half, which is around the middle of the 10th round that you get to. I don't like the under over, to be honest. Fury by decision, the odds are nice. But I don't think this fight is going to go to decision. Dylan White is chinny been knocked down multiple times so you know Tyson has enough power why wouldn't he be able to hurt uh, Dylan White either so to me this is the bet to take if you're gonna bet on this fight Tyson Fury by knockout just keep it safe or you can if, you, if you're being more want to be more bold be a little more greedy you can either pick around Tyson knocks him out in but that's gonna be very tricky or you could do round props. And this is the bet I'll, I'll be looking at. 7 to 12, Tyson to get him with, within this time frame, which is very possible. I mean, this is not out of the question, but unlikely. Tyson is not a... Who knows, bro? I mean, this, this fight's kind of tricky, bro. You know, it's, it's kind of unbettable, to be honest. I mean, I don't think Dylan White wins. So, this is the only play here for some good opportunity, a good chance to make some money on this fight. Just not one of those. It's not a great betting fight. to be. It's, it really, it's not. You know, it's just one of those fights where it's you got to decide how this guy is going to win the fight. And it could be either way, to be honest. Not out of the question, Tyson wins that by decision. If you're gonna bet Dylan, it's based on value. You're just taking a chance. You're taking a punt, really. Cause just don't see how Dylan White wins this fight. But you know, here's his chance. It's long awaited. I really have no sympathy for Dylan White. You know, he's been. Uh, I mean, he's the richest mandatory ever with the payday that he's getting. Not many mandatories get multi-million dollar paydays to fight for the very first world title shot. In the end, it all worked out for him, you know? The WBC protected Wilder from him. That's why he never got the shot. You know, PBC and Heyman, they did everything they could to avoid uh, taking that mandatory, which is why he didn't get the shot. And Mauricio is goody-goody with Heyman. And the reason why Dylan White didn't sue them is because you can't sue the WBC. You know, ever since that situation with that middleweight contender who sued him and, and cleaned him out, they updated the rules. Well, the rules protect them now, so you really can't sue. It's a waste of time. All their rules protect them now. But here's his chance. He's fighting in front of 94,000 people. He's going to get the biggest purse of his career. And he's probably going to get flattened and stopped in front of 94,000 people in his only world lone world title shot you know dylan's a character he's definitely a character in the division funny you know he's had a funny history and uh i expect him to fight hard and i, I expect him to lose violently um, like i sent some drama in this fight you know maybe you know this is his chance so i expect a spirited effort spirited performance Maybe, maybe even, maybe even buckles Fury in this fight, but I don't even, I don't see him getting the, the job done. Just can't see him executing too much athletic ability, too much size, too much boxing IQ, too much talent. He's just better in every way. And Dillard's only only chance is to jab his way in, close the distance, and hope Tyson, you know, 
fights fire with fire and fights him on the inside. That's his only chance. But Tyson's going to be smart about it. He, he fights the way his opponent's styles suits him. You know? He had to be aggressive with Wilder. He had to box against Klitschko. How's he going to approach this fight? I expect a southpaw boxing style, and then he turns it around in the second half of the fight. Which is why I believe the 7-12 to 12 bet is a decent bet to take. But y'all let me know what y'all think, who you got. I got Fury by knockout in the later rounds, second half of the fight. And whether he retires or not, no one really believes him. I hope he doesn't. We'll love to see him against the winner of Joshua Utsik. Hopefully it's Joshua. And then, you know, they can ride off to the sunset. It'll be the end of an era. But Tyson should have won the fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.